Hello everyone, welcome to Codis Camp. So we are at the fourth video of our Cypress automation crash course. And in our previous video, we have seen what is Cypress, how to install and set up Cypress, and how to write your first test in Cypress and run that using Test Runner. So in this video, we are going to cover how are we integrating our Cypress with an IDE. So why IDE? So we have wrote our first test in Notepad in our previous video which is also an easier process but still if we are going for an end-to-end test or a complete project we need to have a clear understanding of our folder structure and how we ordered our code so to do that IDE will be very helpful so if you ask me what are the IDEs we can use you can use any of these IDEs that supports JavaScript to run your Cypress test but here as per the cypress.io site they said the IntelliSense used for Cypress has been already built in in these three tools that is Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code and WebStrong. So if you are comfortable with any other tools other than Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code or WebStrong, you can very well use that tool. But you need to do some extra settings or configuration in order to run your Cypress test. So to do that, you can check the site github.com TypeScript Editor Support where they have provided the details of additional plugins or configurations you can do in these IDEs in order to run your Cypress test. So you can check this site. I have given this link in my blog and the blog's link in my description. As the Cypress site itself said that they have already built in IntelliSense in Visual Studio Code, we are going to install Visual Studio Code for further coding of Cypress test. So let's go to Google. So let me type Visual Studio Code download. The first link will take you for the direct download page of Visual Studio Code. And as I'm using Windows PC 64 bit, I'm going to download this version. So, yes, my setup is getting downloaded. So yes, give I accept the agreement and click next. Let this have the default installation path and click next. So if you want to create a desktop icon, you can check this box and give next. I don't want that. So I'm simply giving next and finally giving install would install this in your PC. Finally, click finish. And yes, Visual Studio Code UI has been opened. And it is going to look something like this with the welcome screen. So now in our previous video, here is the path. We have our code and inside Cypress integration folder. We have created a first test folder inside that a test document. And we have executed that using our test runner. So I'm going to import this path to my uh, Visual Studio code as I'm going to going to code it further in this tool. So let me click on file and open folder. Let me browse for my folder where is my code is. Inside my projects folder I have Cypress automation. And I'm selecting this folder. So once I selected that folder, you can see the default package log.json, package.json, and the other node modules has been imported easily into this project. So now the next thing is I want to run my first test, which I have created. So it is there here in the integration folder under first test, test.js. This is the code we have wrote. So now first we need to open the test runner of Cypress. 
So if you have followed our previous videos, we have used a command prompt to open our Cypress test runner. That is, we have used npx Cypress open command to open our test runner. So here you can again use the same command prompt format to open our test runner. Otherwise, you can use the built-in terminal provided by Visual Studio Code to open the test runner as well. So let me click on new terminal so that a new terminal opens. So yes, a new terminal is opened. So I'm going to type my command npx Cypress open. You can also use the other comments we have seen in the video to open the Cypress test runner. So let me click enter. So as we are you opening this for the first time in Visual Studio Code, it is going to take some time. As you frequently open the test runner, the time it opens, it takes to open the test runner will reduce. So meanwhile, as it is opening, we can see the folder structure clearly here. So we can clearly say the integration folder has all the codes where in examples we have all the predefined specification files. So we can get the help of these files to learn more on coding. And here is our test we have created and inside that the test.javascript is present. So the another use of IDE is code suggestions. That is, I'm simply going to type cy dot and it is showing all possible code we can type after cy. That is get, contains, equal and etc. So this is one more advantage we are moving to IDE than just typing the code in notepad. So and as I typed it is showing the file as error because I did not complete the statement. So yes, our test runner is opened by typing the command in the terminal built in with Visual Studio Code. So now let us run the test. And you can see our test is running successfully in Chrome browser. So yes, you can see our test has executed successfully. So now I'm going to change or remove the pause and I'm going to pass this test in my Visual Studio Code and let us see whether our changes are reflected here or not. So I'm going to remove the statement from my first it and here I'm going to remove the pass and update my forum to capital F. So now I'm going to save this test and see whether all my tests are passing. So yes, I have saved. You can see in console that it is executing the test again. So yes, the first test is already passed and second test also passed and it correctly clicked the forum link. So yes, now we have integrated our test folder with uh, Visual Studio Code. And one more advantage of using this Visual Studio Code or any IDE for Cypress is IntelliSense. So Cypress said they have IntelliSense and you can inc incorporate that to your IDE. So let's see what is that. So if you go to your cypress.io documentation, so now they say there is a TypeScript supported by Cypress. So you can use the TypeScript for a particular file using this triple slash directive. So I'm going to simply copy this to my test.javascript in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to paste and save this. So now I have added the triple slash di directive to my file. So now if you hover over your cursor towards the code of any part of the JavaScript file, you can see the method definition and the parameters you can pass and the possible input and output of that particular method or code in the JavaScript file. So this will be very useful for you to understand why is that command is useful. For example, it supports auto finish or uh, the code suggestions. So cy dot, I'm going to see what are the options I can have. So here there is the option for document. I have no idea why this document method is useful. So I'm going to double click and bring the document to my screen and hover over my cursor on that command. This is going to help me to understand why this command is really helpful. So as we save or make any changes in our JavaScript file, you can see that update is happening in the console or your terminal. 
So now today in this video, we have configured our JavaScript test files in our Visual Studio code. And we have seen how to add our triple slash directive and how it is helpful for us. So yes, we have done all the setup required to start our testing. So hope this ID integration is going to be a lot of help for us. So thanks for watching the video and look forward for more testing. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.